Before you start your machine every day, you should perform a walk around inspection like this one. You can find this on safety.cat.com. They have uh, daily inspections for almost every machine that we make. Now, following this list, they have it from the ground, the engine compartment, and inside the cab. So from the ground, the, some of the things we're gonna check are the bucket and the ground engaging tools. We wanna make sure that this cutting edge is in good condition and that we haven't worn into our base edge yet. We also wanna make sure all of our fasteners are in place so that that cutting edge doesn't come off and create some unnecessary wear. Another thing we wanna look, take a close look at is our bucket linkage. We wanna make sure that all the grease certs are there. We also wanna make sure that there's no binding pins and not a big accumulation of dirt and material within those uh, linkage. Now, as we continue to walk around the machine, we're gonna be looking at the tires. We're gonna make sure that the tires are inflated, that the wheel lugs are in place, and that we don't have too much wear on our tires that'll uh, hinder our performance of the machine. Now, we're gonna look at the tread, but not only that, we also wanna look at the sidewall and make sure that we don't have any unsafe conditions existing big scrapes or cuts in our sidewall or in our tread. We're gonna continue around the machine, <clears throat> always taking note below the machine and on the sides looking for any leaks. We're gonna check uh, all four tires. We're also gonna to look to make sure that our safety equipment is in place. And also these hoses, make sure there's no rubs, uh, nothing getting in the way, no big rocks stuck in here. Now let's head back to the engine compartment. But don't forget, we need to look at the rest of the machine yet. All of these boxes should be checked and any comments should be off to the side. Well, back here at the engine compartment, we have quite a few things that we need to check on every day, especially before we start the machine. We can check our engine oil. We can check our water in the water separator, drain that out if necessary. We can take a quick look at the uh, dust ejector on the air filter. We can also look at the coolant level, for example. Now you notice this one's a little bit low. We probably want to put a little bit in there before we start this machine and run it for the day. One of the nicest things about back uh, in this compartment is not only can you find this in your operation and maintenance manual, but this sticker details every lubrication point that you need to grease. It also gives you the interval for that. Right down there it says every 10 hours we should, we should grease those points. It also gives us the location of where the filters are and how to service those filters referring back to the operation and maintenance manual.